Today's big breaking story is that Reverend Al Sharpton is an FBI informant, was an FBI informant, you know, who really cares about the details? I, I'd like to say I'm not surprised, and I'm, I'm really not at some level. Like, this is not, oh, geez, you know, I mean, if you know Al Sharpton, I mean, if, you, if you've read his Wikipedia page, uh, you know, really, like, are, are, is it, does it, does it come as, as any surprise that, that this is how he got to where he is? Now, I, I can't say, oh, yeah, though, I expected that. Because, you know, I'm not a Sharpton expert, and there have been leaks about this in the past. But, I, you know, I heard the story this morning. I'm like, okay, well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? I mean, Al Sharpton, I, you know, and, and talking trash about Al Sharpton right now would be too easy. I mean, everybody on the radio right now, everybody online is going, oh, Al Sharpton, snitch. You know, and it's like, okay, he was CI7, confidential informant seven, you know, and, 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 and you know, you, you, you really think that like anybody, uh, you know, trying to excuse him going, oh, well, he's a snitch, that's, that's good. We're, we believe in law and order and, and working for government. You think, you think Al Sharpton one day was like, well, <clears throat> I'm a reverend, I'm a godly man. It is time that we get all of these crack dealers and uh, get this crack epidemic off the streets of New York. I know what I'm going to do. I am going to befriend some, some mobsters. Yes, I am going to befriend some high-level drug dealers. And I'm going, to, I'm going to go to the FBI and I'm going to tell them all about it. And I'm going to say, oh, yes. Yes, I, I'd like to wear a wire. Really? No, it doesn't happen that way. The dude was caught. And I'm not, I'm not here to talk trash about that, like him actually providing a legitimate service. Because, I mean, like I said, it's, you want to talk trash about Al Sharpton. You know, this is, this is the guy who, who, um, who's used homophobic slurs, who's, who's been anti-Semitic. Um, I mean, who, who took a sponsorship deal from Lone Max, which is this company that really, really makes money from screwing over poor people. Um, you know, I mean, the, to the, to the uh, Tawana Brad, Brawley controversy, I mean, there's just like, like one thing after another. And then you see Al Sharpton at the White House. You see him like shaking hands with the president. Like you, you see him uh, on, on MSNBC. You see like, uh, you know, all of these like just major state events. He's like, he's, he's Obama's go-to guy. He's you know, America's reverend, uh, really? Here's what he had to say about Mormons. This is, this is going back to 2007 about Mitt Romney. As for the one Mormon running for office, I mean, who, maybe he's being clever, but like who really talks that way? I mean, you know, this is a guy that's just full of it. As for the one Mormon running for office, those who really believe in God will defeat him anyway. So don't worry about that. That's a temporary situation. Now, you don't, I, <laughs> please don't get me started. On, on organized religion and, and the hypocrisy that it represents. But, oh, uh, our God is better than your God, therefore somebody who believes in our God is gonna be president and is gonna tell you and the rest of the world how it's gonna be. Really? And people fall for it. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> pretty, pretty, uh, pretty successful, long-standing racket. And you know, he said back Back, and, and this was back in his, his fat days, back when, back when Reverend Al was fat. I don't, I don't want to talk shit about that. I want to talk shit about him being skinny now. <laughs> it's part of his, his reawakening, his reimaging. No, it's, it's great, you know, you've been fat all your life, you get skinny. You know, great, good for you. Al Sharpton looks like he doesn't know how to be thin. Do you see that in his face? It's like there's, you know, the, the extra skin. It's just like he, he's uncomfortable in his body. It's like he was, he was happier being fat. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just, but... What he said, and he's talked about this in the past, all the stuff about the FBI has come out before, or at least not like today, but you know, various parts of it. And he said that they were trying to entrap a young minister <clears throat> who just so happened to be talking to Coke dealers and mob bosses and Don King and all these other shady characters in New York. Yeah, <laughs> the FBI, you know, they, they just love going after those good young ministers that have nothing better to do than, you know, fight the crack epidemic in New York City. Right. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. One of the gangs, one of the, one of the mafia gangs, one of the, the, the families, they knew that he was an informant the whole time. Now, think about this for a second. If you're doing something bad and you get caught and you're the kind of guy that turns snitch, 
you're just showing how devoid of any kind of moral grounding you are. And this really, again, explains Sharpton like nothing else. You go, okay, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Wow, Al Sharpton, he was in, that's, that's how he got to where he is today. And it's this mentality of, of duping people, of playing a game. And I have to, I have to think that if, if one gang knew that he was an informant, he was really working for them. Think about this for a second. You're an informant for the FBI and you're wearing wires or carrying them in a briefcase to talk to mob bosses and one of them knows you're an informant and the rest don't? Who the hell do you think you're really working for? And the fundamental scam at the bottom of all this is the same as government itself. Why does government go after organized crime? For the same reason that any organized crime organization goes after other organized crime organizations. In an organized crime, a guy like Al Sharpton can be very, very useful. And that is Reverend Al Sharpton Explained. Oh shit, I'm nine inches away from your crotch and I'm feeling your- And what are you doing? I'm um, just talking to some friendly TSA agents. Really? Would you mind stepping out of my personal space, sir? How many terrorists have been caught by the TSA? 